English for Arabs is English for all. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Highlight key concepts. Reveal answers to exercises. Annotate passages. Play class audio passages and video segments. And even embed web links right into your lessons. Unit 16. Enter change into Unit 16. Amusement Park. Invitation. Invitation. Meeting. Meeting. Note. Note. Play. Play. Response. Response. Baby said, Baby said, Bring, Bring. Call, Call. Find found, Find found. Call. Change. Here, here. Do laundry, do laundry. Get back, get back. Hope. Hope. Leave a message. Leave a message. Left leave. Left leave. Listen. Listen. Need. 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 Tell. Tell. Want. Want. Work late. Work late. Again, again, already, already. Soon, soon. On a trip, on a trip. Busy, busy. Amazing. Amazing. Aquarium. Aquarium. Celebrity. Celebrity. Craft. Craft. Decorate. 
decorate. Jewelry. Jewelry. Theater. Theater. Various. Various. Visit. Visit. Will. Will. Concert. Concert. Event. Event. Excuse. Message. Message. Show. Show. Trip. Trip. Go out with. Go out with. Date. Date. Help. Help. Shower. 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 Unit sixteen. Can she call you later? She's in a meeting. This is a conversation. Conversation. Now look at the picture. What do you see? A young man. A young lady. The young man is talking in his cell phone. Cell phone, mobile. The young lady, she is talking to him, and she's writing. She's writing a message. So she's taking a message. She's taking a phone message. She's writing. She's writing. She's taking a phone message. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Can she call you later? Page one hundred six, exercise one, conversation. She's in a meeting. Listen and practice. Good morning, Digital Media. Hello. Can I speak to Kathy Wilson, please? I'm sorry, but she's in a meeting right now. Oh. Can I take a message? Yes, thanks. This is her friend Tony. Please ask her to call me at home. Does she have your number? Yes, she does. Okay, I'll give her your message. Thank you so much. So, listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Good morning, digital media. Digital media, digital, digital media. This is the name of the company. The name of the company, like Vodafone. Good morning, Vodafone. Good morning, Etisalat. Good morning, Mobinil. So, digital media, the name of the company. Hello, can I speak to Cassie Wilson? Cassie Wilson, please. I'm sorry, but she's in a meeting right now. I'm so sorry. She's in a meeting. Meeting, American, T-soft, D. British, meeting. So, Miss Cassie Wilson, Miss Cassie Wilson is in a meeting. Meeting to meet the employees, the workers, to discuss the problems of work. Oh, can I take a message? Yes, thanks. This is her friend Tony. Please ask her to call me at home. So, Tony is Mrs. Cassie Wilson's friend. Tony is the friend of Miss Cassie. Of Miss Cassie. Does she have your number? Does she have your phone number? Does she have your mobile number? Yes, she does. Okay, I'll give her your message. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. 
to the question. Question number one, who is talking? Mr. Tony is talking to the receptionist of digital media company. Is Ms. Cassie Wilson? Is Ms. Cassie Wilson there? No, she's not. She's not available in the company. She's not free. She's in a meeting. Who is Tony? Tony is her friend. Tony is Ms. Cassie's friend. What does Tony ask? Tony asks us to let me to let Miss Cassie call him at home. Does Miss Does Miss Cassie have the number? Yes, she does. Will the receptionist give her the message? Will the receptionist? Give give Ms. Ms. Cassie the message. Yes. Exercise number two. Prepositional phrases. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Talk about prepositional phrases. Unit sixteen. Can she call you later? Page 106, Exercise 1, Conversation. She's in a meeting. Listen and practice. Page 106, Exercise 2, Word Power. Prepositional Phrases. Part A, Listen and Practice. At home. At work. At school. At the mall, at the library, at the beach, in bed, in class, in Mexico, in the shower, in the hospital, in a meeting, on vacation, on a trip, on his break, on her break. At, at home, at work, at school, work, American, British, work, British, work, at work, American, at work, at school, at the mall, at the library, the library, a place to borrow box. The mall, like shopping mall, shopping center, at the beach, in, in bed, in class, in Mexico, in country, in the shower, in the hostel, in a meeting, on, on vacation, on a trip, on his break, on her break, on his break time, in her break time. Break time to stop doing work. B. Bear work. Make a list of five friends and family members. Give it to your partner. Give it to your friend. Where are these people right now? Ask and answer questions. Here, you talk about five friends. We're going to make a question like this. Where is your brother right now? He's on vacation. He's in Thailand. On vacation in Thailand. Where is your sister? Right now. She's at work. She's at work. Where is your little brother? Your younger brother? Hamada. Hamada is at school. He's at school. At school. Where is your mother? My mom? My mother is at the mall. She's at the mall. She's doing shopping. Where is your uncle? 
My uncle is in the hospital. My uncle is in the hospital. He's in the hospital. American hospital. British hospital. Exercise number three. Listening. I was in the shower. Shower to take a shower. Listen to Brian. Listen to three phone calls. Where was he? Complete the sentences. Page 107. Exercise 3. Listening. I was in the shower. Part A. Listen to Brian return three phone calls. Where was he? Complete the sentences. 1. Hello? Hi, Donna. It's Brian. Oh, hi, Brian. Thanks for calling me back. Sure. Sorry I missed your call. I was in the shower. Well, I called you because I'm having a party on Saturday. It starts about 8. Can you come? Sure. 1. Where was Brian? He was in the shower. He called back. Donna. What did the caller ask? What did Donna ask? Correct the sentence. Can you please call? No, wrong. Can you please come to the party? Can you please come to the party? Two. your call I was at the mall I didn't hear my phone that's okay listen can I see your notes from history class yesterday I was sick so I missed the class no problem two Brian was in the mall in the mall this is why he couldn't hear his friends Call. He couldn't hear his phone ringing, his mobiles ringing. He was in the mall. There is something wrong. Can I see your notes from class today? This is wrong. Mistake. Can I see your notes from class yesterday? Today? No. Yesterday. Why couldn't John go to class yesterday because he was sick he was ill Brian said Brian said no nah problem okay no nah problem three three hello Ruth yes is this Brian yes I'm returning your call Sorry I missed you, but I was in class. That's okay. Listen, can you work on Saturday night? I know you usually work on Sunday, but Sam can't come in on Saturday, and the coffee shop gets so busy then. I'm so sorry, Ruth, but I have plans on Saturday. Maybe Julia can do it. 3. Brian was, he was, in class. He was in class. He couldn't, uh, he couldn't answer the phone. He couldn't answer his mobile, his cell phone. There's a mistake here. Can you study on Saturday night? Wrong. Can you work? Can you work on Saturday night? Exercise 4, Grammar Focus. Page 107. Exercise 4. Grammar Focus. Subject and Object Pronouns. Subject. I got Tony's message. You got Tony's message. He got Tony's message. She got Tony's message. We got Tony's message. They got Tony's message. Objects. 
Tony left me a message. Tony left you a message. Tony left him a message. Tony left her a message. Tony left us a message. Tony left them a message. Subjects. Subjects. I, you, he, she, we, they. This is the subject. I, you, he, she, we, they. Verb. Object. Subject, the sentence, subject, verb, object. I got Tony's message. I, subject, got verb, Tony's message, object. I got a message. Subject, verb, object. The subjects. I, you, he, she, we, they. Objects. Objects. Subject, verb, objects. Tony left me. Object, me. Left you. Left him, her, us, them, a message. The object, me, you, him, her, us, them. I, me, you, you, he, him, she, her, we, us, they, them. This is the subject. This is the object. Okay, and now it's time for the grammar. And today's grammar is the structure of a sentence. We always use the subject first, then the verb, then the object. So the subjects, I, he, she, it, you, they, and we all have corresponding objects. And they are I for the subject, the object is me. He, him, she, her, it, it, you, you, they, them, we, us. Again, me, him, her, it, you, them, and us are the objects, and they always come after the verb. Now, let's remember that with the object it, and the subject, it, we are talking about one thing, or maybe one situation. And with the object, them, or the subject, they, we are talking about people, or things, multiple things. And remember, the object is always after the verb. So, for example, the verb called. Let's look at the subject and the object. The subject is he, and the object is her. So our sentence is he called her. The subject, the verb, and the object. He called her. Or the subject, she, and the object, him. So our sentence, she called him. The subject, the verb, and the object. She called him. Now, another thing to think about is in English, after the preposition, 
we also use the object. And that's very different than some languages like French and Spanish and Italian and even Portuguese. But in English, we use the object after the preposition. For example, he is talking to her, the object. The preposition is to. He is talking to her. And we use the object after the preposition. Or for this one. She is sitting next to him, the object. Because here we have the preposition, next to. She is sitting next to him. We use the object. A. Complete the phone conversations with correct pronouns and practice with a partner. In this exercise, you will write the pronoun subject or object. Can I speak with Ms. Fee, please? Ms. Ms. Woman. So, she. She's not here, but maybe... I can help you. I, I can help you. Please give, give her, her object after the verb. Give her my new phone number. It's 555-2981. Five, 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 so number one again, the answers. Can I? She's not here. Maybe I can. Please give her. So the answer is I, she, I, her. Number two. Hi, this is David. Is Mr. Roberts there? B. I, I am sorry. But he's not here right now. Mr. Roberts man, he is not here right now. Do you want to leave a message? Yes. Please tell. I need your object. After the verb object, please tell him. Tell him. Tell him to call me at work. Number two answers. I, he, him. Again, I, I am sorry, he, he is not here. Please tell him, please tell him to call me. Three. Hello, this is Carlos Cafe. Are Kate and Joanne? Are Kate and Joanne? No, they. No, they are not. Kate and Joe, too. They. He and she, so they. B, no, they are not in. Can, can I help you? Can I? Can I help you? I found Kate and Joe's keys. I found. I found the keys. I, subject, verb, object. I found the keys. They left them on the table. They left them on the table. They left them on the table. Just bring me, just bring me the keys. I can give them to Kate and Joe. I can give them. I'm sorry, but, but I can't. Can Kate and Joe call me? Can Kate and Joe call me? Okay. 
So number three, the answer is they, I, I, they, them, me, them, I, me. Number B, pair work, role play this phone conversation, A and B. A, call your friend Calvin, he needs your new phone number. B, answer the phone, Calvin is not in, Mr. Calvin, not in this place, take a message. Then you change. A becomes B and B becomes A. Exercise number five. Snapshot. Listen and practice. Page 108. Exercise five. Snapshot. Popular activities in the U.S. Listen and practice. Go to the movies. Go to a concert. Go to an amusement park. See a sports event. Go to an art festival. See a play. Popular. Popular famous. Popular activities in the USA. In the United States of America, number one, go to the movies. You go to the cinema, you watch a movie. Number two, go to a concert. A concert, a concert, British, concert. Concert, a musical party, a musical party. Singer, like Amr Dieb, Muhammad Munir. Go to an amusement park. This is amusement park. Amusement park, like dream park. This is roller coaster ride. Roller coaster ride. So go to an amusement park. Four. See a sports event. Sports event, like Ahli and the Malik match. Go to an art festival. This is a festival of art. Drawings and paintings. Art festival. See a play. You see a play on theater. Like El Balloon Theater. Check through the activities that are popular in your country. What are the activities that famous in your country, in Egypt? We go to the movies. We go to concert. We go to an amusement park. We go to Dream Park. We go to Sindibad Park. We go to theater, such as the Balloon Theater. What other activities are popular in your country? In Egypt, in Saudi Arabia, what other activities are famous in Saudi Arabia or in Egypt? In Egypt, we like to go shopping, go to the malls, Mall of Arabia in 6 of October, City Star in Nasr City. What are your favorite activities and why? You, what do you like to do? I like going to the movies. I like watching films. I like going to an amusement park. I like go to dream park. I like to see a play. Why? Because I have fun. I am very happy. Exercise 6 conversation I'd love to look at the picture what do you see young man 
young lady they're talking yes this is drinks popcorn they're having fun the cinema they are going to the cinema they're going to the movies Listen. Page 108, Exercise 6, Conversation. I'd love to listen and practice. Hello? Hi, Tony. It's Kathy. I got your message. Hi. Thanks for calling me back. Sorry I called you at work. Oh, that's okay. But I have to get back soon. What's up? Well... Do you want to see a movie with me tonight? Tonight? I'm sorry, but I can't. I have to work late tonight. Oh, that's too bad. How about tomorrow night? Uh, sure. I'd love to. What time do you want to meet? How about around 7 o'clock? Terrific. Tony and Casey are talking. Hello. Hi, Tony. It's Casey. I got... I got your message. Got a T soft D between O and the Y here. This is sometimes Y is vowel. I got your message. Hi, thanks for calling me back. Thank you for calling again. For calling back. Sorry, I called you at work. Oh, that's okay. But I have to get back soon. What's up? So I have to get back to work soon. What's up? What happened? Well, do you want to see a movie with me tonight? Would you like to watch? Would you like to see a film with me tonight? Casey? Tonight? I'm sorry, but I can't. I have to work late tonight. Today I have a lot of work. I can't work. I can't go to the cinema. I can't leave work. I have to work. Oh, that's too bad. How about tomorrow night? Hmm. Sure. Of course. I'd love to. I'd love to. I'd like to. I want. What time do you want to meet? At what time would you like to meet me? How about around 7 o'clock? At 7 o'clock, terrific, wonderful, great. Why does Tony call, call Casey to go to the movies with her, to go to the cinema? Can Casey go to the movies tonight? No, she can't because she has to work late tonight. Can Casey go to the cinema tomorrow night? Yes, she can. At what time will Casey and Tony go to the movies? They are going to go at 7 o'clock, around 7 o'clock. That's the end of Interchange into Unit 16, Part 1. Homework. Number 1, answer 3 pages in Unit 16 workbook. Number 2, keep the words by heart. Listen and repeat. Wish you all good luck. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new 4th edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. With Presentation Plus, your students will be laser focused on the task at hand as you use the built-in presentation tools to highlight key concepts, reveal answers to exercises, annotate passages, play class audio passages and video segments and even embed web links right into your lessons.
Let us show you how Presentation Plus can help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together. Thank <laughs> you.